focus on the muscles of the forearm and hand. So on the anterior surface of your forearm, what you have is your pronator teres, you have your flexor carpi radialis, you have your palmaris longus, which not everyone has, you have your flexor carpi ulnaris. That will be a superficial layer. Then you have an intermediate layer. Right below your palmaris longus will be your flexor digitorum superficialis. And a deep layer, what you have is you have your flexor pollicis longus and you have your flexor digitorum profundus. The last three all go through your carpal tunnel along with your median nerve. So those are your muscles going from lateral to medial. On the posterior surface of your, uh, of your arm, I'm also going to go from lateral to medial. So on the lateral side, you have what's known as your bure raising muscle, which is your brachial radialis. Next is your extensor carpi radialis longus. Then you have your extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then you have your extensor digitorum, which supplies all four fingers. Then you have your extensor digital minimi, which only does your pinky. Then you have your abductor carpi ulnaris. Ex sorry, extensor carpi ulnaris. That would be your superficial layer. Deep to this, you have your supinator, which is around your radius. And beside it, you have your abductor pollicis longus, which you can see on the lateral border of your snuff box. Next, you have your extensor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, and those are your lateral and medial borders of your snuff box. Next, you have your extensor indices, which goes up to your index finger. And that would be your superficial and your deep layers of your forearm. Next, on the palmar side of your hand, you have your abductor pollicis brevis, you have your flexor pollicis brevis, and deep to both of those, you have your opponent's pollicis. Next, between your thumb and your index finger, you have what is known as the adductor pollicis. Then, on your hypothenar side, you have the reverse of what was on your thenar side. So, you would have your flexor digital minimi on this side, you have your abductor digital minimi on this side, and deep to both of those, you have your opponent's digital minimi. And so that would be it for muscles of your forearm and of your hand. So, mnemonics I would use to remember those. For your, an for your anterior surface, there's a lot of different ones. So people like to think superficial layer is pass, fail, pass, fail. And that would be your pronated teres, your flexor carpi radialis, your palmaris longus, and your flexor carpi ulnus. Then you have your flexor digitorum superficialis in the intermediate. And then you have your palmar, you have your flexor, palmaris, pollicis longus, and then you have your flexor digitorum profundus. These three, along with the median nerve, all go through the carpal tunnel. That would be the anterior surface of your forearm. On the posterior surface of your forearm, uh, the mnemonic I use for this would be big chocolate chips, double dip cherries, syrup, and peanuts, preferably included. So the reason I did the two colors is because the purple represents your superficial layer, while the teal represents the deep layer. The longer word corresponds with the longer muscle, whether it's a name or as longest versus brevis. So this would be your brachial radialis. This would be your extensor carpi radialis longus. 
Extensor Carpi Radialis Brevis, Extensor Digitorum, Extensor Digital Minimi, and Extensor Carpi Ulnaris. On the B player, you have your supinator, you have the abductor, pollicis longus, you have your extensor pollicis brevis, because it's shorter, you have your extensor pollicis longus, and you have your extensor indices. That would be for the superficial and deep layers of your forearm. Next, for your hypothenar and your thenar muscles, you have the mnemonic all for one and one for all. This will be from lateral to medial. So you have your abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, and deep to both of those, you have your opponent's pollicis. In between, your thumb and your index finger would be your adductor pollicis. Deep to both of your hypothenar muscles, you have your opponent's pollicis, opponent's digital minimi. Then you have your flexor digital minimi, and lastly, you have your abductor digital minimi.